welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Rachel and I just finished my PhD. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you guys with me through all the stages of finishing my PhD and telling you all the details of what it was like. Um, so I'm not going to lie, this video has been a long, long time in the making. But let's start at the beginning of the end on the 9th of February 2022. Hi, it's me from the past. Um, today is the 9th of February 2022 and I am about to submit my PhD thesis, I think. Um, I had a meeting with my supervisors this morning and they've kind of run out of problems with it. They're happy for me to submit it and um, I've just read through some bits of it again. Not because I actually think there's anything left wrong with it, I'm just sort of a bit nervous to send it out into the world. I've worked so long on this that I'm kind of scared that I've missed anything or there's, I don't know, anything still wrong with it. But yeah, time to submit it. So this is really weird because all I have to do is... <laughs> She's just sending an email, which is it, but yeah, about to be over. Viva day is officially happening. I am just on the train into Liverpool and um, yeah, guys, I've had the worst night's sleep. I'm so tired. But other than being tired, I'm actually feeling okay about this. I'm not really too nervous, I'm more just excited. I think the only thing I'm a little bit worried about here is that um, I'm just going to be too tired to understand the questions. I'm literally running on like three hours sleep here and I was so like excited and nervous like all night so yeah I did not get to sleep until like four in the morning but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. So obviously I didn't film my Viva itself um but I can tell you a bit about it but about what it was like. Um I didn't really know what to expect before I went into my Viva. I had no idea um what was going to happen, what really it was going to be like. So hopefully um, if any of you guys are going to have a Viva anytime soon, hopefully this can help you know what to expect a little bit. Just a bit of background information though. Um, I am in the UK education system. Um, so what my Viva was like was probably not going to be the same if you're in a different country. Um, my Viva involved basically just a conversation with two examiners. Um, so I had an internal examiner and an external examiner. Um, I know some other countries you have to do a presentation first. Um, some you have like a larger audience and you can invite all your friends and family and stuff. Uh, I didn't have any of that. I literally just sat in a room with two people um which was kind of nice because you don't have the pressure of talking in, in front of lots of people and essentially um my two examiners they had three months to uh, read my thesis in oh, well they had up to three months but mine went for exactly three months to the day um and then during the viva they ask you questions that they've come up with and then afterwards you um well you either pass or fail um and they give you any corrections that you then need to make to your thesis before you can like fully pass um i know in, in some places it's kind of the other way around you get corrections and then you have your final defense and then you pass just straight up but um 
in the UK for me, I submitted my thesis, the examiners read it for three months and then I have my viva and then get corrections. And then once I've done that, I pass. If I was to kind of compare a viva to anything else that I'd done before, it was sort of like the questions that you get after doing a conference presentation, only without having to do the presentation itself first. Um, and a bit more questions about sort of how and why you've done what you've done. You're being asked questions by experts in your subject area and your niche. So they obviously already have a lot of knowledge um, on the niche that your PhD thesis is in. So they can ask quite specific details questions, um, not necessarily uh, vague ones that you might get from people of other disciplines watching a presentation you've done. But my examiners didn't actually really ask me any of the questions I was expecting to be asked. Um, so I prepared for my Viva. One of the ways um, was just by googling like common Viva questions that you get. Um, and I went through all of them and I prepared answers to all of them. Um, if that was in case I got asked any of those, um, and then I didn't, I, the only one of those questions I got asked was, um, just to summarize my thesis and sum it up in a couple of sentences. Um, yeah, all, all of the other kind of things I'd prepared that didn't come up at all and the same with um some of the things that my supervisors has pointed out um as i was kind of editing my thesis ready to submit my supervisors had pointed out a few things that i might get asked on in the viva and these were all quite niche things like the like specific sentences and details in my thesis and I did not get asked on any of them either. The things that I actually got asked questions on were kind of broader questions about my research. Um, so I got asked about my data collection. Um, I got asked about some of the secondary sources that I'd used, like how I'd um, found those. Um, what else? I um got asked how I came up with the idea for my thesis um and how I got into the research area um and they were all yeah the questions were all quite broad things like that rather than anything about the tiny details of my thesis um but I guess that depends on your examiners it's very um very personalised based on your examiners and what kind of things they consider to be important within a thesis. And they also said they were supposed to comment on my use of the English language, um, my writing style, which they said was good, so that was good. But they mainly kind of questioned me on the, the choices of why I'd chosen to structure my thesis in the way I had, why I'd chosen to prioritise um, certain areas, um, certain bits of research and rather than including others and, and things like that. As an experience itself, it was actually quite nice to be able to talk about my PhD thesis with um, people who are actually really interested in the topic. Um, it's not really something you get to do that often your PhD thesis is such a, a kind of niche part of um, your subject and there's there's likely very few people who are gonna uh, be that interested in it really um, and even fewer who are gonna have read it and it's not often that your family and friends are that interested in the um, finer details of your thesis. So it is actually really nice to be able to to talk to someone who like understands everything about your topic and is um, actually really interested in it. And it's also nice to sit and talk about the topic that you know most about. So your, your PhD thesis is the thing that you are an expert in, the topic that you know more about than anything else. Um, 
So it's quite nice to be able to talk about that and answer questions about that. Um, because like this, for me, I'd worked on my thesis for three years before I submitted it. So I knew it inside out. So every question that they asked me, they weren't hard. I knew all of the answers to them because I'd spent so long working on this topic. So it was really easy to answer all the questions. And yeah, the questions about why I, I've done things. Well, I know the answer to that because I made the decision to do, to write my thesis in a certain way to include certain things. So I was really easily able to answer why I've done it. So it's nice essentially to be able to do an exam that you already know all of the answers to. And for me as well, I think something that really helped um, prepare me for my Viva was I actually gave a conference presentation on my PhD um, three days before I had my Viva. Um, so it's actually a really good revision process because it was basically just an overview of the main things in my thesis. Um, and since actually a lot of my questions were on like quite broad things about my thesis, um, I did find that really helpful to have it like all really fresh in my head. It was made slightly less fun um, by the fact that every time they asked me a question that was either like slightly critical of what I've done, um, my brain sort of went into a bit of a panic of, oh my god, they hate it, they're gonna fail me, they're gonna fail my thesis. Um, so yeah, that was um, made it a little bit less enjoyable than if it had just been a kind of standard casual conversation. Um, but it is a very high pressure situation. You spent three or four years writing a thesis and working towards a PhD and it all kind of comes down to two hours of a conversation and how well you can defend your work in that time. So it's a very high pressure situation. Um, it's, it's very exciting because it's everything that you've been working towards. It's the point at which you pass your PhD. Um, but then it is also very stressful at the same time because it's also the point at which you could fail your PhD. So there's always that kind of worry in the back of your mind, however confident you are, however much like your supervisors have said, yeah, you're gonna pass. There's still kind of always the worry of what if you don't? So it is a very stressful situation. So my Viva lasted about an hour and 45 minutes. I think that's how long they were kind of questioning me for. I then had to leave the room while they deliberated um, as to what my result would be, um, as to kind of what level of corrections I would get. Um, I think I was outside for about 20 minutes before they called me back in. And then they did tell me straight away that I was going to pass. Um, so that was quite good for my stress levels that they kind of told me good news straight away. They then told me a bit about the corrections that they wanted me to do um, for my thesis. So technically I'd passed with corrections. Um, this is quite normal um, within the UK people usually get some kind of corrections um, and yeah as my supervisor told me before I had my Viva this essentially just means that they've read it properly um, it's quite rare that people just straight up pass I think. But yeah they told me um, once they told me I was going to pass they told me a bit of the detail about the corrections that they wanted um, what kind of areas and then they had 10 days to send me the official initial examiner's report. Um, they sent it, I think it was, they took nine days to actually do it. And this had a bit more detail about exactly what corrections um, they wanted to see and um, exactly what my thesis really needed to look like. And that was the point at which the clock essentially started ticking. Um, the uh, deadline for the submission of my corrections was, I, I had six months to do my corrections, so it was six months after the date that I received the examiner's report. 
Immediately after my Viva, I celebrated by going out for drinks. Even though I was really tired and I really wasn't out for very long, and even though I still had corrections to do to get my PhD, I think it's really important to celebrate your achievements. And this was the point I knew I was going to pass my PhD, so it was a really good thing to celebrate. Submitting corrections was pretty terrifying because at this point I couldn't get any more corrections and even though I was sure I'd done everything my examiners asked for, they still had the option to fail me, which made it quite scary. This is also the point after which you'll no longer be doing any work on your thesis, whatever the outcome is, and it's very weird coming to the end of something that you've been working on for so, so long. So I did spend quite a while sat in front of my laptop building up the courage to submit before I actually did it. Three, two, one. Ah. Done. I finished my PhD. Yay, for reals this time. I have uh, had all of my modifications approved and uh, my thesis in all its approved version has been uploaded to the university library thesis repository thing so I am all ready to go to graduate everything is done and checked off I have passed um for definite this time no no more modifications we're all good um it's <laughs> so it's it's done um it's weirdly anticlimactic um to be honest because I don't know if a PhD's have like so many endings it was really exciting when I submitted then I had my viva and like I passed that but then I had the modifications and I finished them and now I finished for good but I've just finished so many times so it's a bit like yay <laughs> another one <laughs> um but all I have enough to do now is to go and graduate which I will hopefully be doing in a few weeks. Um, hopefully I will be graduating this December. Um, but the deadline for meeting that for all of the paperwork to be done is tomorrow. And I think everything is done. But yeah, I just need that confirmed. So if I don't get that